Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm in the Hong Kong International Airport and today I'm going to be flying the Cafe Pacific Airbus A330-300. So today I'm going to give you my in-depth review and today I won't be going to the lounge. Today I'm going to be visiting the Centurion Lounge instead. So I'm going to review that as well. I hope you enjoyed today's video. So let's head over to Phuket now. Before boarding the plane, like I said, I went to the American Express Lounge. The lounge is split into two main sections, one general area and the other is the more exclusive and premium centurion section. I got invited as a guest to both so let's check it out. Starting with the premium section, once seated you are given a menu and there's a table for you to get some drinks and I decided to get myself an orange juice. If you are in the premium area, you are actually also able to go out to the general area's buffet and you can grab yourself some food there too. Here is where you can see the biggest difference between the two areas. There's a large variety of food in the general area compared to what's in the premium menu. However, the huge difference is in the quality of food. The English breakfast and the eggs benedict in the centurion section was beautifully presented, made of top quality ingredients and most importantly, delicious. With our tour around the centurion lounge being completed, it was then time to board the flight. And as you can see, this 33P layout is different to the normal business class I would usually review. The layout consists of two seats beside each other going down three rows, the middle and the window sides. The seat itself was fairly comfortable and spacious. Now looking to the seat features, on the right there are controls for adjusting your seat and a little storage area housing the in-flight menu, headphones and water. And on the front of the armrest are some charging ports if you wanted to charge your device during the flight. Going back to the contents of the side storage, there's the menu with the food options for the in-flight meal and there's also a drink menu. The headphones were big, comfy and had lots of cushioning and also were super high quality. Directing our attention in front, there's a little holder for something like your phone, some ports, the entertainment screen and a coat hanger. In terms of the screen, it is able to tilt up and down, but the entertainment system was not the newest, so it was slow to respond. But it still had a huge archive of movies and music, which you expect from Cafe Pacific. And as usual, I have to have my pre-takeoff orange juice. Now that we have taken off, it is time to prepare for the meal. So I pulled out the large foldable table from under the screen, I also got a champagne during the process. Now let's get into the meal. Starting off we have a croissant, the champagne from earlier, fruits and yogurt. The croissant was warm, crispy but a little chewy on the inside. Now here are some of the main courses that were being offered. A noodle dish and a dim sum set. I got myself the dim sum set and starting off the siu mai, it had a very generous portion of pork and shrimp inside and was super delicious. The ha gao on the other hand was not bad, but the outer wrap left something to be desired. The rest of the set was also not bad, but however, the star and highlight of the dim sum set had to be the siu mai. A little while after the meal, looking out the window, you can start to see the amazing views of Thailand, and with that is where we began to land. My final conclusion of the flight itself, however, I have to say that since it was such a short flight, and therefore a smaller plane was used, the seating layout of the business class area doesn't differ too much from something from economy or premium economy, which therefore means I don't think it was quite worth it for short flights. That pretty much wraps up today's video and this quick review of this short flight and this interior lounge in the Hong Kong International Airport. I hope you enjoyed it, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!